Hello, everyone. Thank you for signing on to today's Railbookers presentation, Alaska by Land with Railbookers. I'm so excited to have you folks here with me on the presentation today. Popping up onto your screen now is a photo of me, folks, your host, Business Development Manager, Jarrett Kettinger. Now, folks, I recognize by my photo I look a little youthful. Believe it or not, I've actually been with Railbookers for the better part of a decade. And so if anyone has any questions at all, don't hesitate to type your questions into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. And I usually like to make this presentation a little fun and interactive. And so to get us started, I, I always like doing a virtual sound off or a virtual roll call essentially. And so folks, I'll direct you to that questions box. Type your name in what city, state, or area you are currently located in, where you are dialing in from. So again, on the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar panel, write your name, and where is your hometown? Where are you calling in from today? Let's see, we have uh, Michael calling in from DC. Welcome, Michael. Thank you for signing on. We have uh, Sandra from Syracuse, Utah. Uh, Sylvia from San Antonio, Texas. Linda from Madison, Wisconsin. We have, uh, let's see, Daniel from New York. Alice from Langley, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, Deborah from Meadows, I think British Columbia as well. We have Phil signing in from Pittsburgh. Welcome, Phil. Excellent, folks. Keep being interactive during the presentation. And again, folks, don't hesitate to type any questions you have into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. Now, what will we cover in today's presentation? Well, we'll definitely cover some of the benefits of booking a rail booker's journey or package. We're gonna be covering some great destinations in Alaska and what it's like to travel across Alaska through the wilderness on board the train. Now, why travelers love rail bookers? Number one, we can book up to 24 months in advance. Yes, folks, we can book up to two years out. And so even if you're not looking to travel tomorrow, but you know you're gonna wanna travel somewhere later on in the year or, or even next year, you can get yourself booked and secured now for then. We have bucket list experiences and experiences for special occasions. Freedom and flexibility. We can tailor make any of our itineraries to fit your particular travel requests. And I'll elaborate on that in a moment. It's the more scenic way to travel. Think about it, With when you're in a car, you have to keep your eyes on the road and your hands at 10 and two. You really can't be deviating from looking just straight forward. Also, you're in the driver's seat. Then there's traveling on board the plane, a little bit more comfortable. You don't have to worry about getting yourself from A to B, but clouds look pretty much the same no matter where you are. With the train, you can sit back, relax, enjoy the scenery as, it, as you swing by on the rails. You'll have someone doing the driving for you. It's much more travel friendly. Deposit now, but pay later. We do not require you require full payment all up front or even a huge big lump sum. You can put a deposit down on a booking and make payments as you get closer and closer to the trip. In most destinations, we allow, allow you to choose your own accommodations at three, four, and five star levels. So we have different levels of accommodation to de uh, depending on your travel style. And all of our itineraries are customizable. Now we got, we got one question, a Kathy had asked, is there a link to today's webinar? Well, if you're on the webinar, I assume of course you would have registered and you had the link. If you're referring to, say, a recording of the webinar, yes, there will be a uh, webinar recording put on the Railbookers blog tomorrow. And then, of course, there is a link there for you to watch it whenever you want. Good question, Kathy. Now, folks, when you do start traveling, whether you're traveling in Alaska, across the world, wherever it may be, when you travel, just know you have a 24-hour support system because we have offices all over the globe. 
our main offices in Massachusetts and California in the United States, but we also have offices up in Toronto, London, and even Sydney, Australia as well. Maximum flexibility offer. Any new reservations can change travel dates or cancel as long as we're informed five days or more prior to departure. As well as any existing reservations, those can be rescheduled as long as we're informed five days or more prior to departure. Good news is that's without incurring any change or cancellation fee. And it's currently working right through March 31st. And we take the mystery out of rail travel. Folks, everywhere on the map, you're seeing a colorful line. That's a route that rail bookers can send you to travel on. Everywhere you're seeing a little white dot, that's a destination where we have a vacation package that it goes to. So it's not just the rail travel, it's also the rail travel with the package attached to it. And what does rail bookers offer in those packages? Well, of course we can have confirmed seating on the rail systems, absolutely. We have hotels, I mentioned that previously. And again, you're allowed to pick the hotel you stay at. So whatever your level of comfort is, we can accommodate it. We include sightseeing activities at those destinations because you're not just taking the train to stay at a hotel there, you're gonna wanna explore those great destinations. Ferries, uh, because we do a lot with travel in Europe, but also travel uh, in Canada, in the Pacific Northwest, on occasion, depending on where you're going, you may need a ferry, so we will take care of that for you. We do shorter excursions, so even if you don't want to do, let's say, a full day guided tour, but you still did want to get a little bit of sightseeing in, we can include that. And of course, where applicable, those awesome experiences with overnight rail journeys. And for those of you who signed on a little late, and that happens on all webinars, so don't feel bad if you're one of them. Folks, I just want to reiterate that we can book up to two years in advance. Now, we used to say tomorrow to two years. That's when, of course, travel was a little bit easier and actually happened. But it is true that once the world opens back up, we can book last minute or we can book now for up to two years in advance. Simple as that. Now, I mentioned before that we can actually customize our journeys. Now, what does it mean to customize a trip? Well, number one, it means that if, say, we have a, a preset itinerary, and you really like the itinerary as it is, but you don't see a destination that you want, want it included, we can add that destination in. Or we can make it so the journey begins and ends in the same spot. So Say if you wanted, you were flying round trip from a major city with a major airport and you just wanted to go explore the region, explore the country, but end up back where you started. Simple as that, we have that done. We can book an itinerary in reverse. So instead of say going to destination A, then B, then C, maybe you wanted to do it C, then B, then A. We can take a trip and flip it in reverse. We can add additional sightseeing tours to packages. As I mentioned, we always include not just hotel, not just real, but some sightseeing. And if there was any other excursions you wanted to do, we can add that in. Some of them are private. We have some options for that. And of course, on the train itself, we can upgrade to some more of the first class or higher end rail experience tickets as well. So all of the above. Now question. And you can simply answer with a yes or a no. Who here was prior to this webinar aware that, am, that rail bookers can do full packages with the rail, the hotel, the sightseeing, all of it? Were you aware, yes? Or were you not aware, no, but you know now? Okay, so we're at about a 50-50 yes to no ratio. So that, that's good to know for me. And, and for those that did know, great, this is just a reminder. For those who didn't know, now you know now. That's why we do webinars just like this. And again, it's worth pointing out the, the destinations, wherever you wanna stay, we have options at the three-star level, four-star level, 
and five star level. And it's worth pointing out that say you were on a trip that did multiple stops along the way. And in one city or destination, you had heard about a really famous hotel that you had always wanted to visit and stay at. And that's a little bit more on the four or five star level. But at that next destination, you just need a place to stay. It's, you know, it, you, you're okay with more of a three star and save yourself some money. We can do that as well, have different levels of accommodation at different destinations. So I hope that's helpful for you. Now, when is the best time to travel through Alaska by land? I, well, you put that up there, but that's a very good question because it really just depends on what type of Alaska journey you are wanting or expecting. For example, if you are wanting the more traditional visit traips through Alaska, going to the multiple destinations, really seeing it during the best weather, so for the best of visibility for the nature and getting out into nature and breathing that fresh air, then I would suggest for a journey such as that, going in late spring, summer, and very early fall. However, there's the other type of experience. There's going to Alaska for the Alaska's Northern Lights to take that in. That's a different season entirely. That would be uh, suggested travel between mid-September and late April, as the Northern Lights do tend to have their peak season roughly in the March-April period. So really it just depends on what you're expecting out of a trip to Alaska, and there's a, two different answers to that. Now, why take the train? Well, I should point out, Last year and this year, the trains are actually running. We sent many people to Alaska in 2020, and we are already booking lots and lots of people to go to Alaska for 2021. The cruises, however, that's a very different story, as I'm sure you know. Also, there really is a different experience on cru the cruising experience and the rail experience. There's nothing wrong with the cruising experience, but when they go into these port areas, they tend to promote their own products, their own places to eat or to go to be a tourist at or to get souvenirs at. And it's not really as authentic as going yourself into these Alaskan cities and destinations, getting the real Alaska cultural, historical experience. You can do that on the rail system. And reasons to travel through Alaska by land? Well, there's quite a many reasons, including, of course, the wonderful rail experience and the many great destinations to visit in Alaska. For example, the railroad experience is quite extensive. Uh, when you're traveling on the Alaskan Railroad, you can connect very far north to as south as you can go on the rail experience. And there are some incredible jaw-dropping sites right from the window of the train. This site included, it's one of my favorite slides to show. And there's the destinations. A lot of our itineraries will start and end in Anchorage, which is Alaska's largest city. Uh, the port of Anchorage is known for being its Alaska's major cultural hub and its primary gateway to the more uh, wilderness and mountainous areas throughout Alaska as a state. Uh, the city center is home to a number of key attractions, such as the Alaska Indigenous People's Heritage Center, the Anchorage Museum of Art, and the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. So Anchorage is a, its big area, its major airport area, and we will send you all around the city of Anchorage to familiarize yourself by way of the colorful red trolley that you will see. Those trolley tours are included within our packages. Then there is Seward. Uh, taking the coastal train from Anchorage to Seward, uh, to Seward rather, was listed by National Geographic as one of the top train rides in America that you are guaranteed to enjoy. Uh, spectacular views, uh, great dramatic views of the coastline at Turnagain Arm and pass by several glaciers as well. And when you'll be staying in Seward, you will stay at the Windsong Lodge, which uh, is a spectacular wilderness setting for a lodge 
and it's located right along the majestic Resurrection River. There is Talkeetna, which should be on pretty much everyone's Alaskan itinerary. It's a charming small town uh, known itself as the Gateway to Denali. In particular, it's known for its famed mining history. And of course, as most cities and areas of Alaska, its connection to the outdoors. Uh, Telkeetna is actually home to the convergence of three major glacial rivers. Uh, one of them that you will uh, marvel at is the Sasitna River. I will get that right one day, folks. Sasitna River. And on clear days, there are some enjoyable views for right through the Alaskan range and out to Denali from your stay in Talkeetna. And then of course, there's the crown jewel of Alaska itself, Denali National Park. It, is, uh, it encompasses 6 million acres of Alaska's rugged interior wilderness with the centerpiece itself, of course, uh, formerly known as Mount McKinley, now known for, more formally as Denali. Uh, at Standing at over 20,000 feet, it is the tallest peak in North America. And you are going to be enjoying a full all-encompassing day tour of the park while also staying in Denali National Park. And then Fairbanks as well known as the Golden Heart City for its history steeped in, of course, the gold mining uh, and the pioneering of the gold mining up there. Uh, it is also known as the gateway to the far north, uh, as of course it is a connector up into the Arctic Circle. And here you can see the Northern Lights there. Now, important question to ask and answer as we head into some of the, uh, the benefits of traveling on board the Alaskan railroad system, how is the Alaska Railroad maintaining a safe environment? Number one, of course, as almost everyone is, it's requiring facial coverings to be worn in the stations and on the trains by both the passengers and the staff. They have staggered their boarding processes as well. As opposed to everybody lining up and boarding en masse, they have staggered the amount of people that board at any given time, making sure, of course, to keep up with the, the spatial uh, and physical distancing. Uh, and also to go along with that, they, are changing, they have changed their seat configurations and the amount of allocation of people in the sections on board to allow, again, for physical and social distancing. Uh, along with that, trains are running at a 50% less capacity for passengers, all along the same vein. And then, of course, of course, of course, of course, they've increased the cleaning and sanitation on board the train throughout. So all of the above is what they are focused on to make sure it is safe when you are traveling on the Alaskan Railroad. Now, there are two levels of class of service on board the Alaskan Railroad. The first class is the uh, adventure class. That is the, I, I wouldn't say basic because there's a lot that's included in it, but that is the starting from class that is included with all of our packages. It comes automatically confirmed with a, with a seat with a large uh, picture window view. So you can see that in the lower right hand corner of the slide. Uh, on, on board dining and bar service is available for purchase in what's known as the Wilderness Cafe, which is connected to the Adventure Class cars. Of course, the travelers in the Adventure Class cars are able to explore car to car, and they also have access to open seating up in the upstairs Vista Dome. So if you, you're riding and you make your way up to the Vista Dome area, if there is a seat open, of course, you are free to go and settle down and enjoy the sights from there. However, if you are doing an Alaskan rail journey, it's probably a once in a lifetime experience. I would highly advise asking a rail bookers agent about upgrading to the gold star service on board the Alaskan Railroad. Those come automatically with glass dome ceilings right in the for the seats there. There is an upper level outdoor viewing platform. So you can see that folks on the upper photo, 
where there is the outdoor fenced in area. So imagine yourself walking out there amongst all the evergreen trees, breathing in that crisp Alaskan air. That's an experience. Meals are included in the lower level full service dining car for Gold Star service travelers. There is also a private bar with two complimentary adult beverages per person. Uh, that's a nice a little added Benny. And then of course, there is an Alaskan tour guide that will provide narration for those in the Gold Star service. So again, all the packages are based in the, uh, the uh, original adventure class, but of course you can upgrade or inquire about upgrading to Gold Star service. So our first package and arguably our most uh, popular Alaskan package is the Alaska Adventure with the Alaska Railroad. Now folks, it's important to note, uh, whenever you're reading one of our maps, everywhere you see on the map a bubble with a number in it, that's the amount of overnights that is included as a hotel or lodge stay at a destination. And then of course, those little dotted lines that is indicating the train trips to those various destinations. This itinerary starts with two nights in Anchorage. And here you can see the lodging that you'll stay in there, as well as the Anchorage trolley tour. So you'll have two nights at the beginning in Anchorage. By the way, the trolley tour includes those places I mentioned before, such as the Indigenous Peoples uh, Historical Center, as well as the art, and cult, uh, art gallery. Uh, that's along the lines. Also, the, the trolley will travel through the famed Earthquake Park. Back in the 1960s, an earthquake hit Alaska that registered a 9.2 on the Richter scale, and it quite literally forced a neighborhood to slide into the ocean. And so the, the, those in Anchorage, the Alaskans, uh, after it was over, rebuilt that part of the area and dedicated it as a park. Also, there is uh, stops at West Chester Lagoon, where there does tend to be some wildlife viewings and sightings. And for anyone who's ever watched uh, National Geographic or a special on the History Channel or the Discovery Channel, uh, if you've ever seen those famed float planes that take off right from the water, well, the trolley will stop at Lake Hood, which is one of the main stops for the float planes. And so if you wanted to, you know, when you're up in Alaska, wanted to experience that yourself, the tour will get you and drop you off there. Now, what's going to happen is after the two original nights in Anchorage, you will take the train down to Seward. So you'll take the classic, classic coastal train uh, from Anchorage to uh, Seward, which you will use as the stay point and jumping off point for the Kenai Fjords National Park tour. It's a half day tour with lunch included. It is uh, Alaska's number one uh, voted wildlife and glacier cruise and tour experience. Uh, lunch is included, as I mentioned, with an exclusive access on Fox Island. Uh, they, are, they are operate a modern fleet of catamarans and sightseeing vessels. Uh, it, it's a nice large day cruise. And what's, what's really a, a, gives you a rare glimpse of Alaskan wild night, uh, wildlife on the glaciers themselves, such as Ialik Cape, uh, though you'll do some island cruising around some of the smaller islands, uh, with viewing at Holgate Glacier. Like I mentioned, you will have uh, lunch at Fox Island. And this is a very special cruise because uh, these islands are preserved areas. And so if you weren't on a cruise such as this, and this again, being the number one voted uh, in this area, uh, you, you wouldn't actually be able to access these islands unless you were on an experience like that. So we, uh, we kind of button that all up for you. From there, you'll head to Talkeetna, where you will stay at the Talkeetna Alaskan Lodge. From there, you can experience stunning views of Mount Denali. Uh, the lodge itself is only minutes away from downtown Talkeetna. Uh, so you can get into some adventures in the surrounding areas, such as uh, heading out on the hiking trails, uh, which run alongs the rivers up there. Uh, there is a free shuttle from the lodge to downtown Talkeetna and back, as well as the Alaskan railroad system. So after you 
depart from what how it will work is you'll do two nights in Anchorage, go down to Seward, double back for a night in a Anchorage, and then take the train to Talkeetna. And upon arriving at Talkeetna, the shuttle from the lodge will come and pick you up at the railroad depot to deliver you right to the hotel. And then after Talkeetna, you will head up into Denali for a two night stay. Now, the Denali National Park and Preserve encompasses 6 million acres of Alaska's rugged interior wilderness. And then, of course, its centerpiece is Mount Denali, the tallest peak in North America. Some of the highlights, uh, you will have a full day, all-encompassing tour that will travel some 90 some odd miles into and throughout the park. Uh, there is a stop at the famed polychrome uh, chrome overlook. Uh, it gets its name from the colorful volcanic rocks that you will see right from the overlook area. Uh, you'll also get to travel amongst the streams, the mountains, and the glaciers that make this area so unique. Um, it's, and you will have a stop over at a visitor center for a lunch that is included. And then we have the Grand Alaska Adventure with the Alaskan Railroad northbound. This work, this one works very similar to the last itinerary. In this case, you'll do two nights in Anchorage, then head down to Seward for a night there, double back up and head on to Talkeet, uh, sorry, head to Anchorage, then on to Talkeetna, then two nights in Denali, and then you will end all the way up north in Fairbanks for two nights in Fairbanks. Uh, when you will be staying uh, when in Denali at the Denali cabins, which is situated in a quiet wooded setting. So as opposed to being some of the more corporate hotels and and kind of boilerplate resort type of stay, this is actually a real cabin experience up in the woods, up in Denali National Park. So you will have that Alaskan wilderness feel. And it is an ideal base camp for the Denali National Park sightseeing adventures because it's literally within less than 10 miles from the entrance of the park. And also in this, this itinerary also includes, or this hotel also includes within the itinerary, the shuttle between the rail system, station system, and the hotel lodges and back. And I did mention you will have a full day tour throughout Denali National Park. As I mentioned, you travel all throughout the park. You will have uh, great view, expansive views. Um, it's done on a large comfortable motor coach. And so of course, someone's doing the driving for you. They will stop over at the major important areas of sightseeing. And it really is an all encompassing Denali Park adventure. Lunch is included as it's listed, but also included is a choice for you of one of three additional complimentary sightseeing opportunities. Either you can get yourself uh, chosen into a guided history tour, a naturalist hike, or an instructor will t teach you how to pan for gold like a gold rustler would be uh, doing back in the day. So the, one of those three items is yours to pick to ch choose to do. And uh, so you'll get, really get a unique experience up in the park. And then we have kind of our more compact itinerary, the Denali Express with Alaska Railroad. The journey begins with two nights in Anchorage before taking the train on up into Denali National Park for two nights there, and then button back with one more night in Anchorage on the back end. So that so if you wanted a more kind of compact, concise itinerary, you didn't necessarily need to travel to all of those, you know, four or five places. Here's the one where you can get this done in pretty much a week's time. So I'm always interested in uh, what the answer is to this question. Uh, after having shown those slides and those packages, which destination are you most interested in visiting now? Is it the quaint little town of Talkeetna? Is it Denali itself, the crown jewel of the state? Are you excited about heading out onto those preserved islands in the Kenai Fjords National Park? Is, the, is Fairbanks the place that you're most excited about, particularly because the potential to see the Northern Lights? So let's see, we had Debbie that said Kenai Fjords. 
Uh, Deb, uh, an uh, another De uh, Deborah said Denali. Uh, Michael said Denali in the Preserve Islands. Let's see, Nick said he was interested in the Northern Lights. Uh, Linda said Kenai Fjords. Daniel said Denali. So good, um, that, that's encouraging. Uh, Sandra said Fairbanks, all very encouraging. Well, here's good news, folks. A any Alaskan vacations for a limited time only can help you save $300 per couple on any of the trips that are five nights or more. So if you want, would like to go on one of our itineraries, you can save up to $300 off per couple. Now, the good news is every single uh, itinerary I presented to you today was at least five nights or longer. So there's automatically factored into those discounts. Funny how that works, right? And then an additional question beyond Alaska. What are some other destinations you're thinking about for your next vacation, whether it's Alaska or not? Do you wanna to go to do a cross Canada rail trip when the borders open up? Are you excited to travel to Europe when things open up? Is Italy your dream? Is Japan your dream? Is you know the UK or Germany? Where might you wanna go beyond this? We're always excited to find that out as well. Now folks, I do, want to remind you that we do have a maximum flexibility offer that is uh, going on right now to save you um, you know, any worry or concern about changing or canceling. Any new reservations can change travel dates or cancel as long as we're informed five days or more prior to departure and any existing reservations uh, can be rescheduled as long as we're informed five days or more prior to departure. All of these situations is without incurring any change or cancellation fee. By the way, the response to my previous question was interesting. Uh, Europe by train, which we absolutely do, was one response. Tahiti, which is truly a magical place. I would love to go to Tahiti myself. Obviously can't do that by train, but all, a good answer. Uh, we're excited to hear that. Uh, someone mentioned the Trans-Siberian, which we can absolutely do. Uh, another person mentioned the Orient Express question mark, which I think they're referring to the Venice Simplon Orient Express that'll go from the UK, from London, all the way out to Venice through the Swiss Alps. We do that the same. So good responses. And just to button things up, why travelers love rail bookers? Number one, we book up to 24 months in advance. We can book bucket list experiences and experiences for special occasions, freedom and flexibility. We can customize or tailor make any of our itineraries. It's the more scenic way to travel. You don't have to pay in full. You can deposit now, pay in and out later. You can choose your own accommodations and all of our itineraries are customizable. And what do our travelers have to say about us? Uh, using rail bookers made it simple to experience so many different areas and beautiful landmarks all in one trip. That's a response from Jennifer W. That was a very kind response. Uh, and then from Dennis, it took one call to book the perfect itinerary. Rail bookers is always our first choice for rail trips. So just some endorsements from uh, folks that have traveled with us. By the way, some more responses. Uh, Sylvia said uh, she would like to go uh, and visit Peru. Uh, another Debbie said, uh, any short train trips, including uh, the Passion Play, which is Oberamagau. So that's very interesting, Debbie. Any additional questions, folks? Any questions for me? Uh, now would be the time to type them into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. So you've answered questions I've had for you. Time for me to go to work and answer some of your questions. And of course, I do want to say thank you to you for joining us. Uh, do we offer some Yukon trips? Select, yes, we, we can offer some select trips into the Yukon. Um, they aren't the most asked itinerary, not saying that it isn't a great one, uh, but you would, uh, you, you would, of course, uh, chat with one of our vacation consultants. How long before departure is the final payment due? 90 days before departure. Uh, let's see. 
can we do these trips uh, post an Alaskan cruise? Yes. So if you were on an Alaskan cruise and you wanted to uh, get on the Alaskan Railroad packages after the cruise is over, we can do that. Is there a train out of Montana that goes through Canada? So no, so no, yes and no. So no, there is not a train that will go from the state of Montana across the border to Canada. However, there is a train on the Amtrak system, which is our other partner company, Amtrak Vacations, where you could do a train through Montana all the way out to Seattle, Washington, and then another train would connect from Seattle directly up into Vancouver, and you could continue on through Canada that way. Very good question. Any other questions before we uh, say so long for now? I'm not seeing any co come through, so I do want to say thank you folks for signing on. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on another webinar soon. Thank you, folks.